All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video I am going to dedicate to a very, very unlikely issue. It's concerning the people from abroad in area, uh, people, international community that would visit this location here beginning in 1995. Um, It's a subject that hunted me, I would say, well, definitely since my return from the United States of America for the first time to Slovenia. After 11 and a half years, I wouldn't visit Slovenia. I was hijacked here all the time by Central Intelligence Agency, but I wouldn't visit because this place was completely insane. It was totally insane. Till I had actually American citizenship, till I had money in the pocket so that I could take off and not even that helped, uh, I wouldn't dare to come to the, to the place like this. You know? So today I am going to discuss a little bit more about my neighbors here, and I will be discussing with you a topic which Americans, some Americans, uh, really, really, really feared uh, that it would come to their attention, you know, issues such as droning, uh, that kind of stuff. If it will ever be, they told me it's going to be 100% that. Um, for that matter, Pollux, uh, who knew about this stuff, about what went on. Everybody knew about what went on. I don't know if anybody ever saw this stuff, but it definitely did came to their attention about what went on because people did talk to one another, right? Um, and so drowning while swimming, diving, snorkeling uh, was actually a big, big possibility. Uh, and it was... Uh, <laughs> Something that Novo Master Police invested in it heavily. Uh, beginning in 1998, Pollux uh, tried to scare me away from the water when they claimed me um, would be a snake and a con that they're gonna they're gonna release one. Uh, they came with all kinds of stories on how uh, it's a different species of fish they found in Taps River. They found them in Minnesota. Americans came up with a story. They pulled from Vistula River in, in Poland, uh, anaconda snake. Uh, they were scaring all kinds of stuff like this is going to be. Um, I think that snake was dead or whatever. Um, Close to that, I should have fear alligators and all kinds of shit. Um, with Americans suggesting me uh, that it's the sound that you hear. It's actually when you're going to be diving, you're going to be snorkeling. Uh, it's you're going to get the stroke and stuff like this, and so on and so forth. Uh, some Americans insisted me how the winter swimming, which they did here alone alongside the police. That's actually very bad for lymphoma cancer. Uh, and it was also used to, uh, to intensify, to uh, promote, to boost lymphoma cancer. Uh, this winter swimming that police did here. It's not so innocent. Um, It was a really, really, really a trap, more than a trap. Now they claim me how it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cramp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be um, uh, how do you say? I, I, it's gonna be a muscle contraction. I don't know how you say that. Uh, you know, that due to cold or I'm gonna suffer a stroke, uh, cardio arrest. 
all kinds of issues like this uh, that's going to be um, too cold water, that kind of stuff, or, or a million issues it's going to be. Don't, do not go to Karkari, or do not go to Karkari. This shit actually make things very, very difficult for me because behind all this stuff, so I'm thinking that they actually know more about all this stuff than just what I initially thought. Is this shit, if you say to somebody in the stuff I'm going to be discussing right now, uh, you're actually creating like a cloud of shit Paranoia, like bullshit, that person is going to disregard you. I mean, Anaconda here is very low possibility. Uh, it consider it would have to be huge, giant, and very hungry to go after me, to catch me. Uh, and, uh, you know, especially so this, this, is a, this is cold water. You know, Anaconda would not make it through the winter, not with a crocodile. Uh, and another thing is, uh, well, you could you could release one. Sure, you could. You know, they, they talk about the piranhas and shit like this. Uh, they would release in the Karka River, and uh, it's this kind of shit that actually makes you think that ah, fuck off. It's nothing dangerous. It's okay. You know, don't worry about it. But there was in the back of all this stuff. It's actually very serious issues they started to play in 1998. Talking about my neighbors here from the village, very close neighbors here, police officers, neighbors, police alone, from normal man stuff. Um, and they had the Russians interested in this stuff. Russians expressed big interest in this stuff. Sergei from Belarus knew all about this and more. Um, I started to play with a wire that could be mounted on a fishing reel, very, very atypical fishing reel for this uh, fresh water we have. We don't use this kind of fishing reels here in Slovenia. You can, nobody's using this on the river. And I've never seen this fish in reels in my lifetime till I actually arrived in the United States of America at the end of 1994. I say 1994 at the end of 1994 because actually it was in January, right after the new year of 1995. Yeah. So for the first time I see inside of this store in Miami Beach, I see this these reels, completely different reels. I'm going to demonstrate to you. Uh, and fuck, in 1998, uh, all of a sudden I find myself here at the Kirka River, a guy using exactly the same fucking reel. They talk with Americans. Yeah, that's right. Americans know all about this shit. It's a good question how much Americans have to do with it. They asked Americans to actually buy them this kind of reel, to bring them this kind of reel. Let's go to the subject. The word is about how to electrocute an individual uh, inside of the fresh water, inside of the river, lake, whatever, while uh, swimming. Mm. All right, this is, this is basically, this is a time and date. We're going to take this information here first. Um, and... Um, I am, I am going to go ahead, I'm going to use, because I have set this uh, keys that are very, very not too damn good for me to use. It's also going to be a little bit easier for me. Um, well, let's go with this here. Oh, damn, this is just like a map. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, let's go. I'm going to take one of this. I'm going to borrow one of this. And uh, 
All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of this and we're going to do this. We just, it's, there's nothing like that. So, uh, where is about a fishing reel with a wire mounted instead? Instead of uh, fishing line, you know. So these are like a typical fishing reels you have in Slovenia. This stuff here. You see this? This is what. Oh, that one is no longer typical for Slovenia, right there. So this here, this is the stuff that's not typical for Slovenia. Let me see if I can find some other stuff that would be more appropriate so that I can demonstrate to you. Oh, this is perfect. It's like a saltwater fishing gear we have here. I'm demonstrating you. Oh, we gotta go here like this. This I already did, like a little uh, for an easy understanding. I already made like a little. I'm gonna take this stuff here like this. This is very nice. Like that, so we get into the details here about how it all functions. Yeah, so you're gonna do some of this here. But this is this is like a typical fishing reel here you would have on the river in Slovenia. In Slovenia, they only fish with. We never had, nobody was using anything like this here that you see. We all would use this stuff here. This was like um, carp, all that kind of stuff. Everything would go on this, and of course, smaller fish, you know, trouts and stuff, if it would be, whatever it would be. There's a whole bunch of fish. Uh, here that are available so but the police the neighbors requested exactly what you see here with this stuff here this this is what they wanted so you know this is the type of fishing reels we don't have in slovenia the year was actually 1996 when they wanted to have the kind of reel from Americans, they demanded to have this kind of reel to get me killed. Let's go. Now I'm going to take you to the village here, to the Kirka village. We're going to zoom ourselves inside here. They had a fever. Uh, this village, Kirka village, had a fever. They wanted to kill me. At all the costs, you know. Um, <clears throat> they sworn the vendetta to get me killed so that they could look good for Milan Kuchan. They had a, such a fever that they were pretty damn sure that torturing somebody is just stuff like this is just completely normal and it's just like you know you have to say thank you if the neighbor comes neighbors and they, they threaten you and torture you you should be grateful for it it's all normal thing there's a house of method yerman here that's why i took like a little 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 ride this is a guy who was so determined in 1996 he will get yes from Ljubljana that at one point in time would get rid of me that he traveled to Ljubljana he traveled to Slovenian government to Ljubljana to request from them to get me either murdered or that he alone would get me murdered he actually condemned he was then based on his Behavior selected by Milan Kuch and by Borut Pahor, literally. That's exactly how he became in charge of this case on behalf of this village area. 
that's exactly how he got the green light for it. But the stuff I'm talking about, everybody was involved. This is Donna Collins here. And then you have another police officer here. Oh, this guy, this is this is a police officer, you know. And that's right here. That's his uh, cousin, as Denko also. Our house here, and then you have here you have a, a Alish Berger, also the son from Miroslav Berger. Uh, and then you have Peterlin family here. Uh, they were extremely, extremely big in this stuff. And then you have here Andrei Ul house next to him. That's Igor Kotar. Uh, and this is also family of uh, Peterlin uh, of this here, this this clan here. This this is what this is. Okay, so. This is important for me to demonstrate. The whole fucking village was in this thing. It wasn't my neighbors only. Everybody was in it. Uh, because we're going to think of like a little right here from the aerial view. What I demonstrated, this is our house basically here. They involved in this crime pretty much the entire region here. Everything, everybody knew about this bullshit. Americans definitely they get, they got requests for the fishing reel, just as I demonstrated here. This kind of fishing reel, not that kind of. This is what we fished in Slovenia. Everything, all the fish, sweet water fish is fished with this. But this here, this was the subject, and I couldn't understand. In '96. Already in 1996, maybe not even a year from my departure to the United States of America, why this killer fever was so much into what you see there. What, what exactly was it? I got a feeling that Americans, uh, my newly found home, uh, homeland, United States of America, was like actually really, really bizarre because <laughs> all of a sudden uh, I was... Like, uh, at my own village, just for departing to the United States of America, uh, I, I, I had nothing other than enemy. Every house was just, they wanted to kill me, man. Uh, so, unbelievable. Um, this kind of reel, they requested because it can be a wire mounted on one instead of the fishing line. You can use a, a wire, and through the wire, which you connect to aggregate, to something, to the battery, you can shoot electric current into the water through what they demonstrated me on quite a few occasions was exactly something like this, which was tied at the end of instead of wire i should say yeah not fishing line but wire yeah there was no hook there was no sinker there was no flow there was nothing it was just exactly what you see right there we're gonna take like a little screenshot i'm gonna pose this here i'm gonna take like this yeah, copy this they have that stuff removed we're gonna move to the left which i already made it like for easier demonstration you see here this is a fishing pole and then you have here you have a line yeah and uh instead of this line just as i stated you would have exactly this here tied on uh, so uh, let's correct this wire yeah it's tied onto wire not the fishing line but the wire metal wire and um maybe it was even americans huh you guys gave them an idea about that kind of stuff i wonder where the fuck they these people became so evil 
what what happened? I mean, I'm not really completely clear where the hell they got an idea. All right. So this here, huh? This here, this here, you would connect to the electric current. Yeah, like this. And then and the person would swim inside of the water. Uh, the person would get gzz, kazooie, you know? You know, when you swim and you go diving, you go snorkeling and all of a sudden you just disappear from the picture. That's worse than anaconda. That is actually worse than, uh, <laughs> worse than the worst. Oh, that's diabolical. Man, man, man. Uh, this kind of stuff that they're going to fuck me up with. <laughs> um, zig, 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 like this. And uh, they started with this satanism uh, using a boat along the Kirka River. Uh, interacted and tried everything, how it worked, everything they tried and tried. And this year especially was like a interesting destination. They would start to fish, fish from the river Kirka like this. They they would get the fish like that too. Um, they would have somebody who would be swimming. Uh, scouting the area and somebody from the shoreline that would just cast this beautiful thing into the water, connect this to the battery, to the electric current, and boom, boom. Uh, because my lovely neighbor here is a police officer, and because a conscience a little bit I said in Slovenian language, Gaya Pekla. He had a bad conscience, maybe. He he didn't know how to apologize. It's lunacy, maybe. Yeah. Uh, a police tried to help him out. Bail itself out. Maybe the last time, sometimes in 2015. They brought me even here to this location on the side. He was whispering me, you're going to see this, that this is somebody else doing. You you will match uh, the side of the river and that, and you will see that it wasn't I who was doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> that's what they think. That That's what they thought how I'm character is working like that. You know, People are too much into conspiracies, and then they try to solve bail themselves out through conspiracies because there's nothing else left. Um, so this is like a deep corito, uh, it was in Slovenian language, um, basin, right? And this was like 2015, maybe or 2013 was the last time when they demonstrated me this. Uh, maybe 2013, I don't know. With idea to create confusion about it all, all right? But uh, it's becoming clear who was behind it all, how it all happened, and why initially they were using this type of equipment. The story is about Anaconda and about all that stuff, all this and this and that. That's cute, that's cute, but there was something else behind all this shit. And we make a lot, a lot of clouds. See the clouds? You cloud somebody's mind. I realize that person would not even talk so efficiently about a crime of the size like this as I'm doing right now. You cloud his mind and fuck him. And he's not going to know what the fuck is going on and what the fuck we were up to and so on and so forth. That's how they operated, actually. Specialized themselves, obviously, in a deep, uh, deep, 
uh, wherever it was like a deep depth, this here, this uh, bullet challenged on whether you can go and reach the bottom, if you can do this, and so on and so forth. Uh, I started to really, really think about it. Started to have a second thoughts about all this stuff they wanted me to perform for them. How they're going to be watching me swimming, and if I can do that kind of stuff. Uh, the, I feel actually quite lucky that the last year I was doing snorkeling and diving uh, freehanded. No, I did not. I did not use any 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 anything anything like this. I didn't do. I didn't use any kind of um, how to use that oxygen uh, tanks and stuff like this to help myself. Like my neighbor did. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit about my neighbor here. Because it was so much anticipated. And so much threatened I was. What is it going to be if I go downstairs and I use a fishing hook to, fish, to catch myself a fish from a Kirka River. You know, that's our house here. We have a river right in front of us. You know... Not oh, everybody here, everybody, everybody, every every fucking body. I'm gonna tell you, demonstrate you how ill this village is. This here is a house of Peter Lien. Now let me see if I can find this genius, maybe online. I don't get to see it. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe this is even his picture. Uh, let me see that. It's really not. This is Bord Pahor. Uh, it's not going to work. He also was using this kind of name. Uh, but really, his name is Yerne. Uh, I don't see him on the internet anywhere. Yeah, but I can see the house, the neighbor as he is. I, I hate to call this a neighbor. This is a poor excuse of a human being next to his cousins here in the street. These individuals would survive. Not only he, but this individual would survive the entire clan of no nothing other than spear fishing. He next to this bullshit here specialized himself in a spear fishing and the families would survive on nothing but a spear fishing from the Kirka River beginning the nineteen ninety six to all the way probably 2005, maybe even 2008, these people wouldn't buy shit when it comes to fish and stuff like this from the stores. Eventually, the police caught them and probably only issued them a warning. Uh, during MKUltra, they would go and steal protected clams, already extinguished from the river clams. Uh, they would do everything that possibly can do that is prohibited. Uh, they would be using me along the Kirka River for all kinds of uh, stupid shit, stupidities, like the one I have written about today, let's say. Something like this, let's say. And uh, next to me, as they would be clowning around, they would slip in the water, 
and use this spear guns and stuff to kill fish. And so very, very soon, all the catfish, everything was just disappeared from the river. Uh, at nighttime, they would, they would sip into the water with their neighbors, with the people from the village, and they would start to hunt fish. Um, this, is just, uh, this is just exactly how it was. This is this is this is how far a lunacy can be advanced uh, in a somebody through the use of MK Ultra, if you want to call this MK Ultra. And the best about it is because you're involving this stuff. Um, nobody can do anything to you because you're next to alien. You know, because it's a top government that's involved in it. How are you going to summon the person to the court and this and that when actually uh, charge him with the stuff like this when he's next to you and so on and that kind of stuff? Impossibly. That's how. So he claimed that it was like two years that, that he was doing a spear fishing in a Kirka River. He was actually doing a spear fishing in a Kirka River at least 10 years before the police caught one, to be exact. He started to spear fish in a Kirka River and live purely of the fish from Kirka River beginning the 1996. He started to specialize himself into the spear, into snorkeling and diving, using oxygen tanks and stuff like this for the night fishing, all kinds of uh, tools to do just ex exactly what I stated. So, you know, this this is basically why this, you would not stop this stuff. Um, you wouldn't stop this crime. You wouldn't get the, the people here from the village. You wouldn't, you, you couldn't stop this. It, it, this was like your people are like completely, completely hypnotized with this stuff because they get jobs, uh, promotions at work, uh, they got deals. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff like farming deals. They 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 wanted to have good machines for the work on the field. They got discounted cars, machines, all kinds of shit went on. Uh, the neighbor eventually, very very likely, more likely than not, talking about the Petalin, impregnated. Uh, some girl over there in uh, Budapest, in Hungary, uh, as he, he got involved in this stuff uh, and uh, started to specialize himself. They, they, they gave them a special financing and they gave them a licenses to operate uh, uh, Suzuki, Chevrolet, and that kind of stuff, General Motors. Uh, you just have to participate. And uh, the only thing that happened was you just have to follow instructions and the money was just sipping inside of your pockets. And that's exactly what they did. You would barely made a cross with qualifications he had. Uh, but through a crime like this, as I stated, uh, these people started to to travel the world, uh, see a completely different side of the world, places and, and money they never could dream of. So to stop something like this in a village like this, it would be totally, totally impossible. These people, before they would do something like this, they would kill their brothers and sisters, which very possibly have even have happened then they would stop something like this because it was too damn lucrative. It was too damn financially, career-wise, awarding for them. They just want you to know the Kirka village, what the fuck this is. As for myself, I was told don't even come close to the Kirka River without the fishing license with a, with, with a pole or anything like this. Uh, they... They threaten me from all the sides on how everything is going to be surveillance and stuff like this. So that's all I want to do. I, all I wanted to discuss was 
this kind of issue. This is basically what uh, matters to me in this video. And if you understand the background uh, uh, of the crime of how, well, you know. Thanks for watching this video. We're going to take a diet and time again. And uh, as usual, have a nice day.